What began as peaceful demonstrations by transporters from Kahati shopping center to Muranga town ended in disarray when police officers arrived and started firing live bullets. The officers also used tear gas to disperse the protesters who had gone to seek audience with governor over increased levies. Iyo, iyo revi, ama iyo ses, iliongezwa more than 100%. Na ata, ata serikali kubwa, ile, ile, ile ses ilionge, ama ile revi ilionge, iliongeza. Hakuna ilizidi 25%. Kwa nini hii inaenda 100%? Without our concern. In Migori, there was drama when a woman stormed a police station to defend Akashi of Bang that had been nabbed by police officers during their morning inspection. The woman who was wailing threatened to strip naked but was unlucky as she was locked up by police for further questioning. <laughs> In Baringo County, residents of Cabernet Town are grappling with water shortage following high electricity bill at the Kiradich Dam, which supplies water to the county headquarters. The water crisis, which has persisted for more than a week, has forced locals to queue in, in search for water at nearby streams despite looming outbreaking of waterborne diseases. <laughs> In Laikipia County, more than 400 students of Tigidi Secondary School spent the night in the cold after their dormitory caught fire. The cause of the fire has not yet been established. In Isiolo County, fear has engulfed meat following an announcement by the County Department of Livestock and Fisheries that blood samples taken from animals from various parts of the county tested positive for Rift Valley fever. Following the latest development, authorities have now announced a draft of measures aimed at preventing the spread of the deadly virus. Kutoka siku ya leo. Mifugo, mambo ya kusafirisha mifugo kutoka isiolo hadi sehemu zingine imekatazwa. Soko pia itafungwa. Slaughterhouse zote pia zitafungwa kwa siku 14 mpaka tudhibitishe uh, maradhi haya kiwango ambacho imekuwa. Finally, in Samburu County, beneficiaries of loan from Uwezo Fund have been called upon to repay the loans they borrowed so that the government can use the money for lending others. The fund CEO, Joseph Kirubi, said only 8 million shillings out of 59 million shillings loaned self-help groups have been repaid.